Good afternoon, Mr. Chairman, members of the committee. My name is John Jocelyn, speaking for the Associated Gun Clubs of Baltimore. I know the sponsors of the bill think they understand the bill they thought they wrote, but I'm not sure that the bill they wrote is what they really meant. <coughs> the rationale behind this bill is really not unclear, is really unclear the way it's written. It does not prevent terrorists from purchasing firearms or owning firearms. It will do nothing to prevent terrorists who are not on the watch list from purchasing a firearm or even getting a carry permit if they have a good and substantial reason. Obviously, they're not going to put down for terrorist activities. <laughs> it will not prevent the illegal purchase of a firearm by terrorists. We know all too well that our common street criminals know how to purchase a firearm. Certainly true terrorists are far more sophisticated and can purchase firearms on their black market far beyond what we can purchase here. Exactly why a terrorist would want to acquire a carry permit is problematic. If you're going to go out and murder hundreds of people, you really don't care if you're violating the law by carrying a handgun illegally. Why would anyone want to submit themselves to this scrutiny? A terrorist needs to be anonymous. Why would you submit your fingerprints, your photograph, and go through the extensive background check of the Maryland State Police if you're a terrorist? Essentially, this bill is a solution looking for a problem. It's a classic example of the Pollyanna, Pollyanna principle, where well-intentioned people with all the best optimism believe to such a degree that they lose sight of the fact that terrorists, like all other criminals, don't obey the law. And bills of this nature require to be effective that the criminals obey the law. We believe that this bill is so terribly flawed that it should receive an unfavorable report from this committee, and we ask that you do so. Thank you.